Okay. The next slide. Okay, so first, uh, you know, why do we run free groups? And, and you know, if you guys aren't familiar with free groups, they're they're. Really Francis, I'm going to mute you there. Um, so they're they're basically like challenge groups, right? So they're like. Uh, you know, groups that we run with our Beachbody programs, except they're completely free. Um, you know, people don't have to buy a workout program. They don't have to have a workout program. They don't need Shakeology. Uh, so it's an easy way to get people interested in health and fitness. Okay. So um, basically, it allows you to help people. It allows you to build confidence as a coach, especially if you're a new coach. Um, it allows you to build trust with people. And this is key for me, especially for guys, because I think women can just attract other women and they naturally trust them. Um, but for guys, um, and especially with women being the majority of people who are interested in home workout programs and, and stuff like that, uh, you know, it's hard for guys to build trust. So um, I think the free groups are a great way to do that. It's like you can invite people in for free. They, you know, they, they might be kind of shy or intimidated at first, but when they see, you know, you being coach and you providing information and you helping them out and you commenting on their stuff and giving them motivation every day, it really helps, uh, you know, to, to break down the, the walls. Um, so uh, the other thing it does is it helps me expand my warm market. So like every month I bring in 50 to 75 new people that I don't know, uh, you know, sometimes more. And, you know, what I end up doing is sending all of them a friend request um, so even if they don't participate in my free group, which some of them don't, you know, half the time, you know, 50% of them won't even participate, but I've still, you know, added them to my friends list. I've expanded my warm market. They're going to start following me. They're going to start seeing my posts. So it's still a good thing, right? Um, okay. Um, obviously gain friends and followers, as I mentioned, to gain new customers and potential coaches. Um, I'll go over at the end how I convert people to customers and coaches. Um, sometimes I convert people right into coaching, the coaching opportunity. And a lot of times um, I'll just, you know, move people into our paid group, our premier group, uh, you know, with like a challenge, a challenge pack. Um, and, um, you know, obviously we want to get people into our our paid groups, our premier groups, uh, you know, with challenge packs so that we can get um, success club points and so that we can help them obviously, you know, get the most out of it with the, you know, the a Beachbody workout program, the Shakeology, the support, you as a coach, all those great things. So what kind of free groups um, can you run? Or, you know, do I run? Um, you can run any kind of free group that you want. Um, I've, I've seen people run, um, uh, like kick the soda for a week or, you know, kick sugar for a week or, uh, you know, anything that you can come up with, eat veggies for a week, you know, every day. Um, typically what I do though, is I do either fitness challenges or I do clean eating challenges. And those are the two I'm going to show you tonight. Um, I have also done a free 30-day uh, Beachbody On Demand Challenge because, um, you know, everybody could sign up for the club membership and they could, uh, you know, get the on-demand access. And I put together um, like a schedule where, you know, people could sample out different workouts, you know, and I'd say like today we're doing P90X, you know, uh, core synergistics and tomorrow we're going to do insanity, whatever, you know, um, even some of the sneak peeks you can throw in there. The hard thing about the 30 day for me was getting people to put in their credit card. I think a lot of people were scared off by that, um, especially if you don't know them. Like if they're already your friends, it, uh, doing a 30 day beach body challenge, a free one might be a great option because they already know you, they trust you. If you tell them, hey, enter your credit card, you won't be charged, you can cancel before the 30 days are up you know, they're going to believe you, but you know, other people, they might not. So that one was, um, tough for me personally. That's why I don't, I don't run it. I don't run it, uh, you know, with cold market people. Um, 
you can do like a couch to 5k i know a lot of coaches are runners you know so that's a great one like if you love to run or if you're a biker you know you can you could go after your niche and you know or people who want to get into your niche and you can help them you know and obviously if you're if you're into running and if you want to train people in running you know a good program to to pitch to them would be like pio for stretching and flexibility and widening their stride and things like that and you know there's different spins you can put on it and obviously you know, no matter what they are wanting to do, they're probably wanting to lean down, you know, um, focus on their, their health as well, you know, their nutrition. So, um, Tough Mudder, Spartans, triathlons, those are another great thing that people, uh, you know, that would be great groups if, if you're into those. So, okay, so when and how long to run a free group? Um, I run one every single month. Okay, so my goal <clears throat> is for the free group to end at the first of the month. Okay, I want it to end by the first week of the month because my goal is to hit Success Club by the first week of every month. <laughs> okay, so I want to hit Success Club 5. My goal is to hit Success Club 5 the first week, Success Club 10 the second week, you know, and then anything else after that. So, uh, I always back up from the first of the month. So if I'm running, let's say, a 10-day clean eating challenge, I'm going to back up 10 days from the first of the month, and that's when I want to start. I'll typically start on a Monday. So, you know, sometimes that may end, may have me end a couple days short of the end of the month or maybe a couple days after the beginning of the month, you know, so... Um, but I typically want to start on a Monday. Now, if you're doing a fitness challenge, um, typically you want to do it a little longer than 10 days so that people can get more results from fitness. Um, so I would typically do a 21-day fitness challenge. Um, I know some, a lot of coaches do 30-day fitness challenges. I know like uh, one coach does like bridal uh, boot camps and uh, she does really well and she she runs 30 days and she targets you know people that are getting married or in weddings and uh, you know every month she's getting like you know SC 20 30 points so um, that works out really well okay so how to invite to a free group um, different ways you can do it. If you're starting out as a new coach, right, and you haven't tapped into that warm market very much yet, let's say you probably made a couple posts on your timeline about, you know, come join my challenge, maybe get country heat, get 21 day fix, whatever. You, you know, that's a great way to start, you know, because you might have people that are ready to jump right into a program. They've seen you doing it. You know, that's where I would recommend, you know, you know get those initial uh, you know, SE5 if you can right away. But uh, a lot of times your warm market is is not ready to, to jump, you know, and to spend money right away. So what you can do is you can invite them through a public event uh, to your free group. So if you don't know what a public event is, you can go to your personal profile and, and you'll see like create event, right? You can create a Facebook event. If you don't know how to do that, just Google it or, or search on YouTube. It'll, it's very simple. You just got to find where the button is to create an event. And that way you can invite like up to 50 of your friends, right? And you can like select who you want to invite, who you think might be interested. And then they'll, they'll click whether they're going or not going. And you can put a picture in the event and you can put a description in the event, um, you know, and tell them all about it, what it is, what's required. You know, it's totally free. We're going to focus on nutrition for 10 days or whatever. And that's a great way to get, you know, 50 or more people from your warm market, you know, to, uh, you know, to click going in that event. And once they click going, then you just add them into the private group. So you're going to create a private group. I always recommend doing a private closed group. So that way people inside the group are not worried about people seeing what they post, right? If it's closed, no one can see the post except for people inside the group. Um, Another way to do it is if you have um, an email list 
or existing customers, shoot an email out, you know, to, to, to all your customers or to your email list and say, Hey, I'm starting a cleaning group or a free fitness group on this date. Who wants to join? Reply back if you want to join, you know, and then if you're not already Facebook friends with them, you'll get to be Facebook friends with them and you add them into the group. Okay. Um, if you have a website, you can create a blog. Um, if you have a like page, obviously you want to post on there. Um, typically what I do is I do, uh, I run ads from my Facebook page. Now, you know, once you've gone through your warm market and you invited all them to a free group and, um, you know, you don't want to keep inviting your warm market over and over and over again. Those are your friends and family to your clean eating groups or whatever. So then you want to move to your like page and start running ads on your like page. That way you can reach more people, right? That you don't know. So I'm not going to get into Facebook advertising in this, this call, but you know, it's something that you can Google or, or again, YouTube real easy, how to create a Facebook ad. It's, it's very simple. You can target, you know, who you're going after. So for example, if I'm going, if I'm running a real food challenge, which is really a clean eating challenge, I just don't call it clean eating because every coach calls it clean eating. I call it my real food challenge. So if I'm, if I'm targeting for that, typically what I'll do is, um, you know, I'll target people that are interested in like whole foods, like whole food markets, right? People who like whole food markets, people who like Wegmans or, um, uh, other, um, other whole food type grocery stores, organic grocery stores, organic foods, that type of thing. So, uh, you know, that's just one idea. You can always go the opposite direction and you know, go for, you know, people who like to sit on the couch and eat junk food, you know, and watch, uh, Oprah or whatever, right? I mean, uh, you know, people that want to get healthy, you know, so there's two different ways of thinking about it, um, you know, so, but there, there's really no right way or wrong way. Whoever you, you put that out to, you're going to find people who are interested. Um, obviously, you can ask friends for referrals, and I'll talk more about that because I do that a lot too. Once I get my initial people in the group, let's say I run an ad and I get 50 people in the group, I'll ask them to send referrals, you know, or invite their friends. And, you know, typically I'll get, you know, a whole bunch more people just from them inviting their friends, you know, to do the challenge with them. Okay, so here's two examples. Um, one is a fitness challenge that I ran and one is the real food challenge that I ran. Um, this is actually the the one on the right is the real food challenge that I just ran in July. So you can see it started on July 25th. I ran the ad for, I don't remember, like maybe 50 bucks. And you can see it reached 17,000 people. Um, I got 252 likes and 28 people shared this event, this, this post, okay? That's pretty good. 28 people shared it to try to get other people, you know, to join. So, um, and then the fitness one is a 21 day full body challenge that I ran. And you can see I had people actually fill out a form to join that challenge. So it's just two different ways. In, in the one example, I just had people comment below if they wanted to join. And in the other example, I had people fill out a Google form if they wanted to join the challenge. Now there's no right way or wrong way to do it. Okay. It's like, I'm always experimenting. So, you know, sometimes I create an event. Sometimes I have them fill out a form. Sometimes I, you know, uh, have them comment. Um, you know, it's, I, I think the lowest barrier to entry, you know, is just have people comment, you know, just comment below if you want in and then I'll message them with the link, you know, after I look at their profile and I make sure they're not a coach and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, here's the, just like the slide on what I was talking about. It's like, you can have them comment, you can have them message you, you can have them fill out an application. The, the, there's an advantage to having them fill out a form. Like you could do a WooFu form. If you're not familiar with WooFu, it's a site, W-O-F-O-O -O or W-U-F-O-O, -O, I forget how to spell it, .com. It allows you to create forms. 
Um, just like Google Forms allows you to create a form and people could fill it out. Um, the great thing about having them fill out a form is you get to know them, right? You get to have them list their goals, what they're interested in. And if you can get people to fill it out, well, you have a much stronger connection with them. You know, you can help them achieve their goals and, and remind them of their goals and things like that. But what I found just looking at statistics, because uh, I'm a statistics guy, you know, um, I look at how many people actually, you know, see the ad versus, you know, clicking like on the ad versus filling out the form and the numbers drop way off when, when you have to fill out a form, you know. So that's why I, I'm doing just the, the commenting now. Um, okay, so if you're interested in doing a fitness challenge, you can just go Google 30 day fitness challenge and you will find a thousand and one images that look something like this. You'll find ab challenges, squat challenges, leg challenges, arm challenges, you know, you name it. You can go to Pinterest, you can go to Google images, you can go wherever and you'll see you'll see everybody in the world has created something that looks like this do not post this okay you don't want to say you know here's your challenge because why are they going to keep coming back to the group you've just given them all 30 days they can go do it on their own okay so what i do is i break it down for them every single day right so I give them a daily post and, you know, I just take that image and I break it into, you know, the theme, like, you know, the typically the guy doing the push up matches my ad, which matches my banner in the group. So everything looks consistent, right? And I'll just break it down and say, you know, today is whatever, 50 squats, you know, one minute plank, you know, whatever. And, you know, the way these fitness challenges typically work is you want to design them for beginners. You don't want to, this one probably is, you know, a 10 is probably way too high, but typically you want to start off for beginners really, really low, you know, like maybe start five sit-ups, five push-ups, you know, and then just build from there, you know, um, add on to it. So that by the time they get to the day 30, they're not doing you know, 200 push-ups or anything like that, you know. Um, so, you know, think of where you want them to end and kind of work backwards. Um, and also, you know, what I'll do is I will load up those posts in Buffer, or I use Buffer.com. You could use Hootsuite if you're familiar with that, or Postcron, or there's other schedulers. So that way that I don't have to go in and, and post every morning. So I have the buffer just schedule those posts at 6 a.m. every morning. So people, you know, they get up early, the, the post is there waiting for them and they can do it. And it typically takes five minutes or 10 minutes. They can knock it out and be done. Okay. So I have a slide here for avoiding pitfalls. Um, I recommend, especially for new coaches, don't establish yourself as an expert, okay? For multiple reasons. Um, one is, especially if, you know, your warm market's joining, you know, they've known you for years. They've, you know, they know last week you were drinking beer and, and eating cheeseburgers. So, you know, don't try to say that you're an expert, you know? So, um, you know, and, and also you don't want to uh, tell people, how to do it wrong either right because you're not an expert unless you are a personal trainer or nutritionist or whatever then by all means go ahead and do that but a lot of times what i'll do is i'll just find um experts on youtube who can demonstrate a proper crunch or plank or squat or push-up you know and you can see i you know i make a big post or or i put it in a file so that everybody can refer to it and i can and i just tell them you know, check out these links for how to do the moves, you know, um, for the challenge. Now, I have done uh, a free group before where I did moves from, like, I picked out moves from Insanity or, or Hammer Chisel, and, and I've done those in, like, my own videos before. But, you know, if you're just starting out, I would just say, you know, do, you know, find stuff on YouTube and, and, you know, find experts that are showing it. 
Um, and then I, uh, you know, even when I'm doing, um, you know, clean eating or real food challenges, I don't give specific nutrition advice, okay? Because you don't want to tell people, you know, you need to eat, you know, peanut butter and celery for a snack and you need to eat this and you need to eat that, you know, because you don't know what food allergies they have, what conditions they have, what their doctor what diet the doctor has them on or whatever. Whenever I'm giving nutrition advice, I give general nutrition advice, you know, like, like the kind that you would see in the 21 day fix, like, you know, here are the uh, food groups, you know, here is the type of foods that you want to eat. You know, um, you know, you, obviously here are the foods that you want to eliminate. You know, that's kind of what I focus on is, you know, eliminate the junk, eliminate the processed foods, eliminate this, you know, you want to focus on vegetables, lean meats, you know, cut the carbs, you know, things like that. So I don't give, I know some people do, they'll give, um, you know, meal plans to people, um, you know, like from, uh, different programs. They'll just kind of take the meal plans out of there and they'll design meal plans for their 10 day challenges. Um, I personally just uh, don't do that, you know, because I don't want to get into trouble and I don't want to, you know, have somebody eat something that, you know, they're not supposed to be eating because I'm not a nutritionist. Okay. So um, tips for success. So how do I keep people engaged in my group? Because you, you guys are all going to struggle with this. You know, half the people won't engage. But what I found was a great way to keep people engaged is to have some kind of contest going. You know, like if they post, um, like in my real food challenge, if they post a healthy meal every single day, you know, a picture of a meal, I'll give them a prize. You know, and sometimes I don't even tell them what the prize is. It's just you know, everybody wants to post because they want to get a prize, you know, or whatever. Um, sometimes I've done a points contest and you can see this picture right here where, um, you know, more if it's, um, you know, a fitness challenge, you can have them post a motivational picture or encourage someone else or post a sweaty picture or post a healthy meal and they get different points for doing all those different tasks. And that's a great way to keep people engaged because, you know, now they're trying, and then you can throw like a big prize out at the end. Like whoever has the most points is going to win a, you know, uh, whatever, uh, maybe a Beachbody Energize or uh, Amazon gift card or whatever. Um, but then, um, it adds more work on you because now you've got to keep track of those points, right? So that could be tedious. So I came up with a way that you um, don't have to keep track of the points. You can have a form keep track of the points. So if you guys know Google Forms, you can create a Google Form and in like, you know, did you do your workout today? Question number one. But instead of putting yes or no, I put a one or a zero for the point value. And then did you have breakfast? You know, one or zero. And then maybe if it was a, a two point question, it would be a two or a zero. And if you know um, how Google Forms work, they go into a Google spreadsheet. So all those numbers go into a spreadsheet. So it's real easy to sum up the points. Um, you know, you just go into the spreadsheet and you can, you know, highlight them and sum, you know, it'll automatically sum them for you. So that's a tip if you guys know, um, you know, Google Forms or if you want to learn Google Forms. Otherwise, just um, keep it simple. You know, a lot of times, especially with my real food, I just say, post a picture every day of, you know, the, the healthy meal that you're eating. And then that's real simple to keep track of. So, um, tips for a successful group. Um, obviously, you can give icebreaker questions. Icebreaker questions are just questions that aren't even about the challenge, right? They're just questions about them, their family, what movies they like, whatever. If you just ask these random questions, you're going to get a lot more people that engage with these questions than they do probably with your challenge. Um, so always ask engaging questions, even if you're, you know, making a post like, like with my real food challenge, I'll make a post every single day about, you know, one topic or another, like, you know, 
the importance of drinking water and how much water you should drink. But you know, you want to always make sure that you're asking engaging questions with your posts. You're not just posting information. You're like, you want to end with post a picture of yourself drinking water today, or, you know, how many glasses of water did you drink today? Comment below, you know, so you always want to ask that to try to get the people to engage. Um, create videos. Videos are great, especially live videos. If you have a private group, you can create a live video and only people in that group will see that video. So those are great. Or you can have, you know, pre-recorded videos that you post that you reuse and post again and again in the group. I do that too. Um, open up and share your story. So, you know, people, obviously the goal, right, is for people to get to know you and to build trust with you. And in order for you to do that, you have to share where you are, where you came from, your journey. You know, you, you don't want to hide the fact that you're a Beachbody coach. You want to talk about that, right? You want to talk about how you did a Beachbody program and how you are drinking Shakeology every day and how that's helped you, right? Even if they're not, right? By you talking about it, it's going to get them more interested in it so that when at the end you offer it to them, they'll be like, oh yeah, that was a thing you're talking about. I, I would definitely be interested in that. Um... Obviously, you want to comment on all their posts and pictures, and the, the most important thing is private messaging people, because when you private message people, you know, just to encourage them or to ask them how they're doing or to follow up with them, it's like, hey, I haven't seen you posting in a couple days or whatever. That shows that you're taking an interest in people, that you care about them, and it, it helps to build that, you know, connection with people. So um, how, how do we convert them, right, into a paid group? Um, one way that you can do it is you can have a Zoom call like this at the end of your free group where you can invite everybody onto the Zoom call. I've done that several times. And one thing that you can do is just have everybody share about their experience with the group, how much they've lost, introduce themselves, talk to each other, right? That's a great way. Um, you can... Um, you know, do a giveaway gift for attending the call. You know, I've done that too. It's like, I say, you know, everybody who attends, I will offer a free gift to, you know, and that gift may be, you know, I'll offer you a fixate cookbook if you order a challenge pack, you know, um, or, or whatever. Um, Let's see, question and answers. Obviously, you know, just have people do question and answers. Also, what you can do is um, you can do a free, uh, a live broadcast. So if you don't want to do a Zoom call with everybody uh, or you don't think people will attend, you could always say to your group, I'm going to do a live broadcast uh, Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Everybody watch, you know. So that might be a way to get more engagement that you could try. Um, obviously you can't, I mean, they can type in their questions or whatever, but you, you know, you're limited to the feedback that you can get by doing a broadcast as opposed to a zoom call. Um, and then what I do is I talk about my upcoming challenge group, right? And I tell them all about, you know, my premier group and how we have our team of coaches that run it together and how you get 10 times the support that you get in this group, right, and how we give away weekly prizes and how people get 10 times the results because they have a real Beachbody program with a nutrition guide and portion control containers and, you know, the whole thing that you get with a, a challenge pack. And I share results. And I, I actually will share pictures of people that have gone through my challenge group you know, coaches or customers that have shared results with me. And so I share them with, with people, right? So I can say, you know, this is Susie who just went through 21 day fix and look, she lost 15 pounds in 21 days and here's her results, you know, so that, that's great. Um, and then I give them the special offer like, okay, whoever, you know, orders a challenge pack for me within the next three days and joins my challenge group, you know, I will give you this, you know, as a free gift from me. So that works well. And then I always, you know, if you're doing a Zoom call, you always post the recording in the group afterwards. Cause even if you get like one person on the call, it doesn't matter, go through it, you know, record it, post it in the group. I tag everybody in the group. 
and then I follow up with everybody after a couple days. So it's very important. The, they, always, they say the fortunate is in the file, follow up, okay? Because uh, I can tell you that, you know, my uh, people that uh, immediately jump on something, you know, for the five years that I've been a coach is, is probably a negative percentage. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, I, I typically always get people by following up with them. You know, so um, what I'll do is, you know, tag them, post the recording, and then I'll send them private messages and I'll go and I'll private message every single person in the group, especially people who are active, you know, even people who aren't active, I'll message them and say, hey, you know, were you able to follow along with my free group? Did you have any questions or, or did you have any issues? You know, and if they weren't active, I'll just offer them, hey, do you want to join my next free group or, you know, or whatever. Um, but, you know, definitely people who are active, I'll ask them if they're interested in joining my premier challenge group. And I'll just say, hey, did you see the video that I posted or, you know, what did you think of the call? You know, that type of thing is how you can start, you know. Um, you know, obviously talk to them about what's next in their fitness journey, right? It's like, um, or you just say, hey, how did you like the clean eating challenge? And a lot of times they'll say, it was great. I lost five pounds. And, and, you know, and then I'll say, well, that's awesome. So what do you, have you thought about what you want to do next? Or have you thought about how you're going to continue this journey or take it to the next level? You know, and then they'll be like, no, I haven't really thought about it. I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. And, and then I'll say, well, did you have a chance to watch the video that I posted? You know, and they'll be like, no, I'll check it out. I'm like, okay, great. Check out the video. I'll follow up with you tomorrow, <laughs> you know. And, um, and uh, you know, eventually, after they watch it, they're going to say, well, how much does that cost, right? Well, then you got to have the discussion with them, of, you know, explain the value of the challenge pack, everything that they get, they get you as a coach, they get into the group, you know, everything else. And then how do I track all this? Obviously, I don't keep everybody in my head, right? I've got a spreadsheet. I use Google Forms uh, or Google Spreadsheets, and I track every single person. And I keep notes on every single person, and that way I can see who I have messaged, what it was their response. You can see I highlight people that are interested. You know, I'll, people that tell me no, I'll, you know, highlight them in a different color, you know. And obviously no means not right now. It just, it, you know, maybe I'll go back to them next month and invite them to my next challenge or invite them to my next group. And you can see... Um, I track every single day in this, in this example, I'm tracking every single day that they post, whether they posted a healthy meal or not. And that way I can give, um, in this, in this example, I did, uh, free packets of Shakeology to whoever posted every single day. And, Greg? Yeah. Greg, got a quick question. Yep. When, you, when you said you, uh, showed them the video and asked them if they watched the video, was this a video of, um, of a challenge pack? Or was that uh, something else? You, you, you were just talking about about five minutes ago. Yeah, no, it's the that Zoom call that I talked about. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah, Thanks. oh, so I don't even know where it went. Um, yeah, right there. So, so I would recommend like either doing a Zoom call, right, or a live broadcast in your group, you know, where you say, Thursday at eight o'clock, you know, so basically the challenge day 10, let's say ends on a Wednesday. So what you're going to do is you're going to create an event in the group and you're going to say, we're going to have a live broadcast or we're going to have a zoom call on Thursday at nine o'clock Eastern. I want you all to attend because we're all going to get to ask questions. We're going to get to meet each other. We're going to share results. I hope to see you all there. You know, that, that's what you're going to do. And then, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then whether you, uh, broadcast or, or zoom call you record that and then you post it the next day and you tag everybody in it. got it so that's much better than doing a beach body you know video that's like a commercial right yeah. you talking about it not only you're talking to the people about what a great challenge they had and the results and meeting everybody but then you're going to talk about hey, let me tell you about what's next because I want to make sure you all get into my next challenge that's starting next week and you're going to get 10 times the results and, you know, here's the information on it, right? 
and they've been familiar with you since you've been talking to them throughout the challenge anyway and you they've so they've created that connection got it absolutely yeah so that's the key really and i mean you know creating them some kind of video to watch where you're explaining everything, tagging them in it, recording it for them, following up with them, met private messaging them, you know? And so, you know, you can go back to here and you can see, you know, I don't know how many people are there, but you know, you can see the bright yellow is the one that already purchased. And then there were three or four others that were definitely interested. Um, you know, so, Got it. Excellent. Thanks. That, that is what typically helps me hit success club five every single month. Um, and even if I don't get, you know, three people out of a one free group, you know, I'll go back to previous free groups. And a lot of times people are ready by the second or the third time, you know, sometimes people join my free groups multiple times, you know, and you know, well, that's fine. You know, Awesome. Um, so that's basically it. Um, do you guys have any questions? I'll stop the share. No, I definitely saw, um, you know, obviously get an opportunity to see it and, and, and fine tune it. Um, it, it. It's definitely about the relationship. I like the, the way that you had when you were doing like your fitness challenge, how you just posted the events. And I, I know you can, you say you can do it two ways where you can either do a video and provide an example of the workout or and the way you pre-listed, you know, the type of exercise and, and how many of them. Right. And you just create a picture for every day and load it up into whatever your scheduler is and you're done, you know, um, I have created, um, oh, another, um, ex another thing that I've done is you can go on YouTube and you can search for like Sean T. He has five minute videos that he's done and I've loaded up the Sean T's five minute videos and he does like, you know, five minute a day workouts, you know, that he's published on YouTube. And so has Tony Horton and so has Shalene, I'm sure. Um, you can go load up their videos and give them a video every single day. So I've done that too. Um, and that one was really popular. I, I, cause I advertise, you know, free Sean T workout. And I think I had like 200 people join, you know, wow. <laughs> a lot of them were coaches and already had coaches, but you know, there was a lot of people that joined. Um, so that was fun. Cool. And I did my own videos once. I said that that one wasn't a huge hit, but you know that was just me. You know, people didn't want to watch me. I guess. <laughs> We're here for you, Jeff. Yeah, right. thanks. <laughs> um, but I, I know. Can imagine that after your country thunder video or your country your country heat video. You no, know, I, I you know I I think a lot of people would be interested in watching my country heat videos. <laughs> They're so uh, funny. Dramatic, yeah, a little storyline to it, yeah. <laughs> right. So I know, like, uh, SB and Dawn, you guys were in my free groups. Um, and Maggie, possibly. Um, so you guys are probably familiar with how I run them. It's just overcoming the fear and just doing it and just knowing that you, you cannot go wrong. You cannot mess it up, you know? Um, no matter what you do, you're not going to mess it up. You just have to do it. You just have to, you know, create the group, create the event, invite the people, if you have a like page, you know, create a post on the like page and boost it. You know, it's that easy. Cool. But, but definitely start with your, with your warm market, you know, your Facebook friends that you already have. Well, excellent. Well, as usual, uh, I got to run to the next thing, but Greg, I really appreciate your time. Yep. Uh, in, in, running, in uh, running this call here. Uh, you said it was recorded? Yes, I'll upload it to YouTube and give you the link and you can share it with your team. Awesome. Thanks again. Okay. Thanks, Francis. All right, everybody have a great night.